Hi everyone, I hope you're doing well with all this virus, the coronavirus going around. Keep safe everyone. Okay, so what I'm going to do is dehydrate some mashed potato. I've got my mum, she's 87 years of age, very frail, and sometimes all she'll eat off the plate is the mashed potato gravy and the green beans. So... I'm going to have to stockpile this now just in case I can't get out and I don't want to bring anything nasty back with me. Okay, so this is just potato um, boiled and mashed up by my hubby. No butter, oil or anything in it, it's just plain. So I'm going to put it on the dehydrator and then after that, when it's dried, we'll rehydrate it. Um, I've not done it before, so we'll just rehydrate a bit. You're going to need some kind of paper for this one. And I found once you've got it on the tray, you could just get a knife and just go like that to make it into smaller pieces. Okay, I quite enjoy doing that actually. <laughs> I think I'm a bit sad. Okay, I've got that whole bowl onto my five trays. So let's just pop this one in. Let's hope I don't drop it. No. Okay. You go in it. Okay. All right then. So I've got five trays out of that. Out of that bowl. So let's put it on. Okay. So I'm going to put it on vegetables. Vegetables. Turn it down a bit. And I can't remember where it said, but. Let's put it on for 10 hours, okay? And then I'll get back to you. It's been about six hours, um, not too far to go now. Now on my dehydrator, um, the middle bit here doesn't, get, doesn't seem to get done. So I just move things around and I put the ones that need doing more at the back. Because this at the back here is where the heat seems to be on my um, dehydrator. If you get any big bits, um, just break them open because they might be dry on the outside, but inside you still need dehydrating. So just keep a check on them. The potato's done now, took about 10 hours. So I'm going to put it in this jar and vacuum seal it. Now apparently it should last at least eight to ten years in a vacuum seal jar so that's good i'll do that and then i'll save some and then put it in a bowl with some boiling water with a bit of butter and salt and we'll have a taste test okay so i'm just going to fill the jar now I've filled one jar and i'm going to start off another one i've not vacuum sealed this one yet i'll just let it breathe a little bit Let's give this a go, rehydrating it. I've not done it before, so let's give it a this go. It's going to be guesswork. <laughs> so let's pour a little bit of hot water in, not too much, because you can't... Uh, I'm hoping that'll be okay. Let's give it a wash around. And then we'll leave it for a little while and we'll come back to it, okay? It doesn't look it, but there's still some hard bits in there. I'm not sure whether my mum would eat that. Um, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to grind this into a powder and try it again. I would get more in the jar that way as well. Or if you didn't have a grinder, my suggestion would be... Um, I mean, I, I would eat this no problem, I'm just thinking of my mum. Uh, would be to have a, a pan of water with a bowl like this put your water in here start mixing it up just so it can still have some heat from the bottom because this was just water from the kettle I think it might need constant warming as far as mashed potato goes um, yeah because they don't last do they I mean this would be great in uh, soups and stews. Um, you, you wouldn't, you know, it would all disappear. So yeah, I'm gonna try to powder this and then I'm gonna try it again. I'm back. 
I've powdered it now and it's gone to half the size so it's a great space saver if you do have something to make powders a grinder I think cows is a Nutribullet but people use coffee grinders but as I say um, the taste is there um, it was just that it was just in boiling water but if it's in actual something and it's constantly hot um, no problem at all okay so what I'm going to do is another experiment now I'm going to have I'm going to treat, treat it like rice so I'm going to have one dessert spoon just for this experiment and then I'm going to put, put two spoons of water in and then we'll see what happens right here it's done it's I put a bit of butter and salt in now to me this is still a little bit grainy I don't know why I think it might be just having the hot water with it I think my next plan for my mum is I'm going to continue doing this because this is great um, for like putting in um, for putting in anything that you want potato in if it's been in the water and it's been cooking um, it wouldn't be graining it's just because it's just had hot water on it and just been left um, for a minute or so I've got this <laughs> so I'm going to do this anyway this way and I'm, I'm going to powder this and put it in there and that will be one jar now I think the next experiment on the potato front for my mum is just to do cubes no I won't mash it I'll just cube it I'll um, pre-boil it cube it dehydrate it and then put it in some boiling water in a pan and then mash it up so that'll be my next experiment but as far as this one goes it's not a fail at all I'm just trying to work out for my mum what's best this is great don't get me wrong I'm still going to do it and to have um, potato powder with no additives in it in your cupboard for thickening or anything it's great it's just this isn't just quite right for my mum so I say thanks for watching god bless everyone and I'll do another potato video um, a different way